Good evening, folks. Uh, Tyson Anderson here. Uh, the time is 6.59, and uh, I figured I would go ahead and come on before we brought Chico on to uh, just say uh, thank you guys for showing up and thank you guys for coming on. Um, it's been a long time coming. We're excited to see what's going on uh, in Brazil with uh with our good friend um i'm gonna wait for him to chime on and just as soon as he comes on we're gonna go ahead and uh bring him on as well got a couple questions here i'm gonna ask and uh we don't we're not gonna hold him too too long because he is a very 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 busy man he's got a high demand on him and uh you know so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and uh wait for him to come on thank you guys uh, Abshire, Mr. Fred, Nicholson, uh, Ball, thank all of you guys for coming on. Uh, you didn't have to. We won't be before you long, uh, but we will be before you strong. Um, we're just waiting for him to pretty much chime on now. Once he, uh, once I see he's on with us, um, we're going to go ahead and, and bring him on live. So... Grateful, grateful, grateful. How's the weather out there for everybody? Is everyone well? I hope you're well. Hope everybody's uh, well rested and staying outside of the, or inside from the uh, Jack Frost. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just waiting on him to, him to chime on. And uh, I don't know, they may have a different, uh, different, uh, Something going on. Yeah, I bet it is cold, Danny. I bet it is. Negative two. Donaldson, where are you at? Negative two degrees. Where is that at? That's not, that's not, uh, that's not it, brother. You gotta, you gotta bring that weather up. <laughs> Man, come on now. And, uh, let me see where, what's going on with them. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him a message real quick. And, uh, he may be watching, actually. And uh, let me see. I'm looking for other guys there coming on. Chad, me and Ashley ran all the day. Yeah, he told me he was going to run. Uh, how did they do, Blair? How did they? How did they? Did they show up and show out like y'all wanted, or did the? How's the running there right now? Humidity and everything wise, I guess. Let me see. Uh, about the same in Indiana. Okay. Wow, about the same in Indiana. Dogs are rolling. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Running wasn't good. At least you're honest. You know, some people, you know, good evening, sir. Mr. James. Uh, you know, it's funny because some people, they say, well, you know, the running was well. Running went fantastic. We didn't we didn't lose anything. The, the dogs jammed. They just uh, did this. They did that. And, and I, I find it hard to believe very contrary, honestly, for a person to never have a bad day. As a matter of fact, um, my mentor, Arthur White, tells me that the time to tell the dog or the test of the dog is the worst conditions you can think of. It's not the great conditions. It's the time when, you know, you can, uh, when, the, when the dogs can barely run a rabbit or the conditions say that they can't run a rabbit. That's when, uh, you know, that's when it's, that's when it's horrible. So, you know, but uh, people don't understand that. You know, a lot of people don't don't understand that. And pardon me if you see me keep looking down. Last night was tough. I can imagine it was. I'm waiting for him to chime and say something's going on. He's very busy. And so I don't want y'all to think that um, that uh, he's a procrastinator or nothing like that. He's a businessman. Uh, he's an icon of mine. Jumped him, had a tough time circling them. It is what it is. You're right. You know, it happens. You know, it happens all the time. I tell people that all the time. It happens. You can't get upset with dogs. Only do what they can do. Uh, but yeah, uh, Chico, I'll give you a little bit of his background while I'm waiting for him to chime on. Uh, excuse me, as I take a lip balming break. <laughs> oh, nigga, you gay? Uh, <laughs> Chico is uh, is a great friend and great brother of mine. Um, <clears throat> I followed Chico for about 17 years, and um, I think he's been in it for about close to 30 years, 27 something like, give, give or take. And um, he's been monumental to me because um, even in the shadows of me following him, you know, uh, 
I really just didn't know what to say and how to how to say it. You know, he was he's just been so like I said iconic. Um, he's just a, he's just a great guy all around, man. I mean, he's he really is. You guys have no idea. Um, this man has traveled extensively throughout all of the country. I mean, all of uh, America, Brazil, Russia, you know, uh, you name it. He's, he's, he's been there. Um, he's just a powerful man. You know, uh, he's a man of faith. I love that about him. He's not a thug. Um, he's not a gangster. Uh, so I may, you know, mistake his identity as far as his character and his Secureness is in uh, you know of identity as far as you know to be arrogant or whatever whatever but that's not who he is I can assure you and uh, we're just like I said waiting I'm I'm eager I'm telling you I'm eager to see what he will have to say uh, tonight because um, God knows man he has he has a lot to say don't know exactly what all we're going to get into to be honest with you um, I do have a couple of questions for him just basic pretty much. Uh, what do you look for when you're breeding? You know, your what are your basis? Um, you know, what are the emphasis you put on dogs? You know, to to when you when you get ready to breed and all of those different things. I mean, this man, you're talking, you know, he's got he had four dog of the year. You know, uh, dogs. I'm not just talking about you know backyard. You know, wagons or you know uh, you're running the mill little show dogs and big head blue bullies. I'm talking about true brutal warrior combat hog dogs that this man you know put his time and blood sweat and tears in and uh you know you just don't find guys that have this kind of knowledge and uh steadfastness to keep this thing going and uh what's going on mr perkins and um when you find somebody like this you've got to take them serious you know this guy doing what he's done at the international level that he's done in that i mean you're talking about japan china you know, um, it's it's just unreal. Hey, Mr. Uh, Snowden, how are you, sir? Uh, it's unreal. And uh, my whole thing is this. Um, uh, I'm just going to talk until he chimes on. Is, uh, you know, a man that's got this kind of demand on him. You know, I, I, let me say it like this. I'll back up. Because I don't want people to think, oh, you're probably coming on to promote him. You know, it's puppy peddling or whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not the situation. The situation is this. For, I can remember, I think around about... Uh, cleaning to about 2015, 2016, and it might even been 2000, yeah, about 2016 in the 15, middle 15 ish. Um, Don Chico Lopez would not sell dogs. You know, he would not let people get dogs. Um, this man kept the integrity of his breeding. He kept that stuff pure. He didn't let anybody get any of it. And they begged him, you know, Don Chico Lopez, Don Chico Lopez, Don Chico Lopez, let me get some of that bleeding, let that blood, let bleeding, let me get some of that, let me get some of that. He wouldn't. Him having some of the greatest mentors like the Victor Eckhart's, you know, a.k.a. Tallhead, you know, the guy that finished, you know, uh, Southern Kennels Grand Champion Mayday. I mean, one of the most prominent Amer true American pit bull terriers of this world today. Now, watch this. I want to say this first and foremost because I don't want you all to get what I'm saying confused with why I'm bringing him on here. Some say, well, you know, it looks like he's got pit bulls. Oh, well, he does. Uh, let's get that first and foremost out of the way. Uh, let's, we're going to go ahead and, and, and erab uh, eradicate all of the preliminaries early. Um, uh, and I say this with all due respect because I honor this man and I honor what he has to say. Whether they're house dogs, cat dog, uh, cats, well, not house dogs, but whether they're Whatever kind of dogs they are, if they're working hounds or working dogs of whatever descent, whether they be Great Danes, Huskies, whatever it is, Jagadair Terriers, Jack Russell Terriers, Feist, Mountain Curds, whatever it is, if that's what it is, it's what it is. And if you're doing a great job, I, I applaud Mr. Daryl Nicholson. If you all don't know it, and he's not paying me to say this, but if you all don't know it, this man has, I mean, some of the best squirrel dogs around. I mean, I've heard about him from everyone, you know, uh, he's out in Missouri, look him up, um, he's on Facebook, uh, Daryl Nicholson, he has, you know, top-notch dogs, and, uh, you know, I would probably even bring him in, 
and have him chime on. But a lot of people don't understand that. They would think, well, why would you, uh, why would you do that? You know, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, because he has nothing to do with. Um, okay, here it is, right here. Okay, here he is. Range he go. Yeah, but they would say he has nothing to do with this, this, that, and whatever. Well, when it comes to genetics and whatnot, he does. He knows exactly what he's talking about. So uh, that's why he's coming on. And uh, bear with us. I'm, it, it's adding. I'm trying to add it right now. I'm, I'm really hoping it doesn't be. There isn't some kind of uh, problem with it that we can go ahead and get him on clearly. Yeah, I'm saying adding right now. Just waiting for it to go through. And once we uh, add, Lord, we're let this work. <laughs> but uh, we're grateful. So, but um, yeah. So that's that's what that is. You know, uh, the man has put his homework in, has put his time in. So, with that being said, he's on here, and that's why he's on here. Um, let me see. Try that. Let me see. Uh, try to tell him he'd have to accept it. This is our first time doing this together. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't done this. Chico, if you can hear me and you're watching this, I'm going to send you another um, uh, invite. It's going to come through like a call. Just You're just going to have to accept it. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, you're fine. You're fine, Chico. Um, is it coming through? It should It should come through as a uh, like a call. I think you're going to accept it. It's saying it's, ad, it's trying to call you or add you. I guess you'll just hit accept or whatnot. It's going to use your camera and chime you in like you're going live on a video. Bear with us, folks. We're, going, we're getting them on. He's trying to add right now. This is him messaging me. Yeah, so. But, yeah, this man, he put his, um, he's put his time in. I mean, you know, he's, um, he's did what he was supposed to do. He's still doing it right now. He's a world-class breeder. He's a world-class dog man. And uh, there's there's nobody that I know of right now today that does the, uh, what he does at the level that he does it at. I mean, in, in any breed of dog that I know of. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't, but I don't know of any that I know of, you know. So uh, let's try this again. We're going to keep on trying, buddies. And uh, you guys just keep on bearing with us. Uh, I do apologize for the frailty of uh, connection. It looks like I think it's something going on with the connection on his end. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we'll see. It's trying to add him right now. It's like our third time, but uh, he's there with us, so, you know, I'm talking to him back and forth. Mr. Blanks, how are you, sir? Yes, yes. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, so he's here, people. We're trying to, we're trying to, trying to bring him on. Working on getting in. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, let's see. So, but uh, do you have, do you guys have any questions for for me right now while we're trying to uh, bring him on? I know a lot of people. They say, man, you know, you say a lot of stuff on Facebook about science, uh, scientific uh, backgrounds, and you know, genetic uh, gene pools and genealogies, phenotypes, and and, and, and you know, and, uh, genotypes and all of these different things. What are you talking about? You know, do you really know what you're talking about? Who told you this stuff and how this and how that? And they don't really, you know, people they just don't know. Some people don't really know. Um, let me see real quick, babe. If I can, I'm gonna get my wife to assist me real quick. Um, could you see what it looks like as far as googling what it looks like um, to bring someone on? He's in Brazil, you guys. He doesn't. He doesn't have to do this. His 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 uh, demand for him is uh uh, who give you that tight fade? Is it tight, Jimmy Hampshire? Let me let me see. Is it tight? A buddy of mine. Um, I'm actually this is uh we're on I'm with with the company with this and uh I just set it up. We're I, I got a cut in, out of Columbia, South Carolina. If you Instagram him, the guy's name is the Fade Guru. He's gonna have to. Hello, folks. I will get in. Yeah, he he's coming in, folks. Don't you guys worry about that. He's coming. So uh, let me see. You press the add person. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just I just hit add again, uh, Chico. Okay. Don Lopez. 